Hi, I'm David. I have just recently been up to Auckland Hospital um, for a bit of um, testing in the specialised um, neurosurgery unit, um, some assessment for a, almost an entire week um, to check me out for suitability for surgery and to help tweak my medications. Uh, basically that involved me having lots and lots of EEG leads attached to my head and um, then plugged into a portable unit. Um, uh, then I got placed in a specialised room um, that had a video camera attached to the ceiling along with a microphone so they could hear and see my every movement. Um, they normally had two people in the room at the same time, but in this particular case, they just had me. So I was all on my lonesome for the entire week. Um, and basically, I wasn't able to leave the suite at all for the entire time, um, except to go to the toilet and the little kitchenette that they had built there specifically for you know, whoever was in there. Um, and I was plugged into the wall. <laughs> um, there was a plug going from the portable unit that sits just across the chest um, with the leads uh, that goes directly to the wall, gives you about 10 metres worth of you know walking, sp walking length. Um, and the idea was to capture any seizure activity um, and anything else related to your epilepsy um, and also to capture it on tape um, and uh, both video and audio uh, so they can match it up to um, brain patterns and they had a cute little button that I had to press um, when I felt something coming on um, so that they could try and match that up um, and essentially the other thing they were going to do was to tweak my medications so that um, they could try and trigger events etc so that um, if nothing much was happening they could pretty much get some activity going um, so I was sitting there basically for a week doing nothing much really apart from trying to have a seizure. <laughs> um, unfortunately I was there for a short week so normally the, I'd be there for five days. Um, at the end of those five days the doctors would get together and um, sort of go over all the data and decide what to do next. Um, in this case um, there was a short week so they cut my visit short um, and sent me home. Um, crazily enough I actually had a seizure um, the night that I got out, serendipity really, um, and didn't have much activity um, I suspect because they dropped off probably the one drug that helped dropping, helped me having it dropped off. Um, but luckily they had some data from Waikato that would have helped them out um, uh, in assessing what's going on with me. Um, but also some of the other stuff they are able to do up there is do things like inject contrast dye into you um, for when you're having an event, um, i.e. seizure, and um, you know put you in a um, a scanner so that they can see where your focal point is while you're having a seizure and when you're not um, so that they can monitor blood flow all that kind of stuff um, and yeah it was certainly a very interesting time um, luckily I was able to occupy myself um, and uh, yeah, at some point I'm going to be going back for a follow-up appointment um, and hopefully get some results from the whole thing. Um, my 
or from what I can tell, my focal point is somewhere near my motor um, area of my brain and close to my verbal um, region. So I have been told that if I do end up having surgery, it is possible that things like um, my... Um, I could have the possibility of ending up with a minor stroke or you know having loss of uh, movement in one of my limbs. So there are some of those things to take into consideration if that ever, ever eventuates. Um, but at the moment we're looking more at tweaking medications. Um, so yeah... Um, it is rather an interesting thing being up there, um, especially when they start tweaking medications. Um, and they do have to come and check on you quite frequently. Um, usually every half hour, they are actually looking at upgrading the suite so that they have software that automatically detects when you have a seizure even. So that will be quite funky. Are there any questions? No, it sounds fantastic, David. So they can't find your focal point of your seizures? Um, no, not specifically at this point in time. Right, okay. So surgery would not be an option for you? Um, probably not. It certainly wasn't about 20-odd um, years ago when they first checked me out. Right. How would you feel about surgery? Um, if that was an option, how would you feel? I haven't really th um, fully thought it through as yet. Um, because of the possible ramifications, it's something that I would still have to think through very carefully because of, as I said, the, some of the possible outcomes. Um, and because I have a family, um, it's something that I would need to discuss with family members um, most definitely before making a final decision um, because of, you know, my children are involved and um, my partner. Do you um, get to see a psychologist or, or someone I, like that to discuss, discuss yeah, the I've, outcomes? Yeah, I haven't gone that far down the road yet. This is sort of like the preliminary... Um, part of the investigation so far. I've had the full-on epilepsy MRI, which took an hour and a half, I have to say. Um, so that was quite a challenge in itself, um, especially considering as I had a cough at the, during oh. the MRI. But, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I would imagine at some point there would be someone to talk to, but um, I think I feel fairly confident that certainly in, in my case, talking to my family would be fairly sufficient for me um, uh, mainly I think because I feel I have a fairly good handle on my relationships amongst you know my immediate family mm -hmm. um, and I feel fairly um, confident in who I am if you will um, I know my own mind, um, but uh, I also want to make sure that my family um, feels happy with um, you know, the final decision as well. Thank you very much for that insight, David. Um, I'm pleased that you had a, a relaxing week. <laughs> <laughs> in some ways it was good, and in some ways it was a bit of a disappointment, if you will, that I didn't have more activity. It's kind of one of those catch-22s, yes. so I'm pleased that I did and pleased that I didn't. Uh, you can never predict when an, an epileptic seizure is going to occur. Yeah. So it's all very hit and miss on that one, but that was great. And um, I look forward to hearing from you about your second visit. Yes, well, it'll be interesting, that's for sure. Yes, thank you very much, David, for a fantastic insight. Alrighty. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.